Shalom. Call hello la Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people ignorantly call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are all the true names of Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I want to give a shout out to the Akin that's pushing and spreading this word throughout the four corners of the earth, also uplifting the names Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. And to the confusion of faith, brothers and sisters out there whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all forefathers. Though you may look like one of the heathen nations, you're scattered amongst. Same if your sea line, okay, traces back to one of these tribes through the man. And if your spirit bear witness with his word and his truth, and you can receive it. To the confusion of faith, brothers and sisters out there, you are Israelites. Though you do look like the heathens, okay. If these do apply to the few Aquaf that do listen, learn, Shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel, where they may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth with this word is going out to, Shalom to you as well. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine and consist and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? The, ch the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. And, um, I wanted to, uh, found an article on uh DJ Trump and um this is what Trump just said you know because this whole thing about the UFOs which the UF they're not UFOs they're I IFOs identify identi uh, identical flying objects according to the elect okay the people of the nation of Israel okay but to these other nations okay they call them unidentified flying objects because it tells you in Jeremiah the tenth chapter in the second verse, okay, for the the heathens, okay, are this this made at the signs of the heaven and the uf the so called UFOs which are the chariots of Yahweh, okay, they're actually okay, the uh, chariots of the Most High, okay, and um, I'm gonna read this article and I'm gonna get some scriptures. It says, does President Trump believe the truth is out there? Apparently not, which it is out there. That's why you've seen, uh, for example, with the uh, whole, okay, World War Three scenario, how Trump was uh, not just, you know, 10 minutes away from striking Iran after the drone was shot down. But the reason they did that, because they knew that if they had shot that down, okay, or if they would have did that strike on Iran, that... Uh, uh, that would afford the destruction of the Edomites' kingdom. The Edomites are you self-proclaimed white people. Okay? Does President Trump believe the truth is out there? Apparently not. During an interview with Fox News, Tucker Carlson, Trump, who has all, all our information about extraterrestrials and UFOs at his disposal, said he isn't convinced US, UFOs exist, but he keeps an open mind. You know, that's the pride of Esau Edom. Okay, Esau Edom, okay, believes what he thinks goes, okay? That's why I told you in Obadiah 1 and 3, thy pride have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the uh, cluster of the rocks, man. Okay? Well, I don't want to really get into it too much, but personally, I tend to doubt it. But two, told Carlson, I'm not a believer, but you know, I guess anything is possible, okay? Carlson was pressing the president on a recent briefing he had regarding the Navy pilots who reported seeing strange objects flying at hypersonic speeds and emitting no visible engine or ferret exhaust plumes. Last week, the Defense Department also held a briefing with Senate Intelligence Committee Vice Chairman Mark Warner, the, uh, as well as two other senators as part of an apparent effort to communicate with politicians about naval encounters with unidentified aircrafts. I mean, you have people that swear by it, right? Trump Muse. And pilots have come in and they said, and these pilots that have not pilots that are in a particular world, but we have had people saying they've seen things. And and that's happening. You see people, regularly, regular people, mainly Edomites, just see, okay, these chariots, okay? These chariots of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. Okay, and they can't come to grips to what it is. All they could say is what they've been told or fed, okay, by the media. That they're so-called, the movies, the media, that they're so-called, okay, UFOs, man. 
unknown flying objects. Okay, with aliens in it. Okay? And that's not the thing. Okay, so let's get to the scriptures because... This is Psalms. Eighty-six. Okay, and seventeen. This is what it is: the chariots, the so-called UFOs, as you people know, of Yahweh are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai and the holy place. Okay, so that's the chariots of, of Yahweh, and His angels are, are controlling it, man. Okay, and that's what. It's being, it's being put out there now that these are the chariots of the Most High. And then you're seeing them more and more. That's why Esau is bugging out. Okay? Then you have Donald Trump talking about, well, I don't uh believe it. Well, so what? Romans 3. And Esau doesn't believe anything. Okay? Because you're a carnal. Okay? It's Romans 3 and 3. Okay? For what is some... For what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? Okay? No, Esau, who cares, man? Isaiah, let me get Isaiah. Hold on, let me read it, finish it off. In two-thirds of our own people, we tell them that them chariots are your salvation. They don't believe it. There are a lot of them, when they see this chariot, these chariots, when they full come out in their full uh, uh, glory, so to say, when they fully are out there and Esau can't, you know, Lie to the masses of what, what's going on. Two thirds of our people are even going to be uh dismayed. At it. Two thirds of our people are going to believe is what Esau told them that is is aliens. Okay, We're on spaceships, man. That's what they're going to believe, man, because they don't have faith. Yahweh forbid. This is the fourth verse. Yeah, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, and Esau is a liar. Esau is a straight liar, man. Okay. And that's what he's going to be found to be in the end, just like the scriptures say. He shall be found, okay, a liar, man. That's what all you people about to find out, man. That this man was a one big lie, man. Okay? Yahweh forbid, yeah, let Yahweh be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay? And and, and he said, let... In uh, Psalms, not second Psalms, second Ezra, the 15th chapter talks about let not the incredulity, okay, of those trouble thee. He's talking about his elect for all the unfaithful shall die in unfaith um, um, unfaithfulness, man, okay. That's really our people because it's not applying to Esau because Esau is doing from the get go, okay. That's what Esau is a carnal being, okay, a carnal being. The Lord don't care if you don't believe, okay, because. He said, Scriptures say Yahweh was not a liar, man. Okay? Numbers 23 and 19. Yahweh is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, he hath said. And he shall and shall he not do it, for have he spoken, and shall he not make it good? And what did the Lord say he was going to do, right? Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll, which that's another description of the so-called UFOs, the chariots. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, And I see a flying roll, the length thereof is twenty cubits, and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then said he unto me, This is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and everyone that swears shall be cut off as on this side according to it. Okay? And I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And who was the thief, man? Esau or Edom. Okay? 
You got this land of theft, okay? The murder, okay? And deceit, okay? And mainly from who? The nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay? That's where you got it from, man. Okay? You uh, uh didn't get this land, okay, on righteousness, man. You didn't get this land on your own. You did it, okay, by the sword, man. Okay? You are that thief, man. Okay? And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. Okay? Don't you do that? Don't you? Didn't you say that this, that... that who you, people ignorantly call Jesus, okay, is a so-called white man, okay, when he's a so-called black man according to the scriptures, okay, telling him that everybody, telling everybody that the name is Jesus, okay, when his real name is Yahweh okay, you did that, man, and you 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 make mockery, okay, of our Lord, man, you make mockery every day, whether it's by your movies, while the by the policies that you push, okay. One way or another, you're mocking, okay? You how about Shimei Oshai, man, okay? And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber dove and the stones thereof, okay? And is that not what the Lord, okay, said he's going to do? He's going to bring, okay, that curse was that curse is the chariots and to the thief of the house. Don't you see chariot sightings all over the place, okay? And the Lord, because the Lord said he was going to do that, and he's, and, he, and he's making manifest. And you know what? That's chariot, the same chariot, okay? That same chariot that he's bringing to your house to look out because the Lord's doing that to only, not only to show his men, okay, that this is real, okay, but he's, he, he's basically showing you that he's about to take this place out, okay? America, Babylon the Great. Isaiah uh, 66 verse 15, for behold, the Lord will come a fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Okay, them chariots are going to be shooting fire out, man. Just like you see in the movie Independence Day, even though that movie can't even do justice to what's really going to take place. Okay, battle, that movie, uh, uh, Battle Los Angeles. Okay, which they know, Esau knows, okay, what's coming. He knows it's coming. Just watch that movie, okay? For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. They that sanctify themselves in prayer, like silent, um, let me see. Yeah, okay. That's the point. Let me see. All right. So them, 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 them so-called UFOs that you want to continue to lie about Esau, that you want to continue to try to dodge, to think that you, okay, you going to retaliate, which is not going to work. Just read 2nd Nezures, the 13th chapter. You, you, you retaliating with the very same weapons that Yahweh Bashim Yahushua gave you because he gave you, okay, that blessing, which, which was the, uh, the, the sword, man, to live by the sword, man. And you're going to try to fight him and you're going to lose miserably, man. And the whole world's going to witness it. Okay, so and, and and he's coming back to make war with you Edomites. He's coming back to make war with you heathen nations as well, cause you're not exempt. He's coming to make war with two thirds of the nation of Israel that won't repent. Okay, that want to continue to side with you. Okay, that's gonna be all the flesh that he's gonna plead with. Okay, so that's the end of the lesson. Call her Lord, lie your whole by Shimei Osha. You know, either one right to Zah, Lord willing. This was edifying. Shalom to the elect out there.